Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing well. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Okay. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a way to you know merge this column and update a column. So let me just take this into power query. So from table and range. So what we want to do is that we want to merge this one and this one but we don't want to go with this process like uh, this one and then you know merge column and then this is let's say sorry, none oh, merge okay let's skip this so we don't want to go with this process and then let's say we don't need this one so we'll remove this one so we are not going to do this but what we want to do we want to update this fault message uh, with appending this you know custom so like this one and this one going to be appended uh, and we want to update into this fault message column without adding a new column so how can we do this let me go back okay so for that we need to know about this table dot transform row function okay table dot transform rows that sorry transform rows and so you can see that this is a table the first parameter is table second one is um, transform as a function so this uh, you know transform row will give us a row okay, at, at a time so this row as record actually so one row is particularly a record and we want to return a record up to this function you so let's say i just return this row so i don't do anything else so i just put this one so now you can see that these are records right so it has this you know wing area sub wing custom on fault message final message so these are records okay so we can convert this into table dot from records so sorry from records and this one will convert this into a table so we'll get back the previous table okay so now we need to do the transformation in this section so we want to append this column and this column right so we want to change this fault masses column uh, which will be this one and this one so for that reason so as row is a uh, sorry record field so i'm going to say record dot transform record fields okay so transform fields so the first parameter will be record so that is this row and now we want to do this transformation operation okay so we want to do this operation on this fault message column sorry fault message key field okay so that will be so this this is the way we want we need to get that record data so that is going to be this custom custom and this fault message okay so this one has a little bit issue and that is h sorry sorry h so i guess we are good to go oh okay sorry so it's saying you can write pair and expect it so this is for row 
this is for I guess we need one more for yes okay so here is the problem we cannot apply field access to type uh, text okay so that is it's custom and fault message we want to update the fault message so it gets the correct number sorry correct name it's custom and then fault message sorry so we are doing small mistake in this section so we need to give the row i mean record reference and then that column name so that's it so we get this one uh, that this become appended okay so we can say okay uh, we can put some delimiter if we want so let's say this delimiter is underscore so we are good to go okay so this fault message get updated okay without adding a new extra column also we can do one more transformation in this final message too okay so let's say this one is appended without any delimiter and i want to append another one so let me put first bracket and we copy this and this is going to be another so we have to update in this final message so that is final message custom and then final message and i guess we are good to go and done so this is let me put different delimiters in this section so that is this one so we are good to go so we can you know transform multiple column I mean append multiple column or merge multiple column without adding a new extra column and then deleting the uh, previous one so that's all the video so I want to extract this process to a single function so that's what I did in this section so I'm not going to explain that part but this are the same procedure okay so like this table to transform row this is the source table we need source table and then this row transform field and i am going to take this first column name because i don't want to fix that uh, and so that's why this first column name and in that case we need to use record dot field and then give the record reference and then this you know field name so that's another new thing that you can access the you know a specific field using its name or is you know using a string and then this delimiter so i'm taking the delimiter it this is another interesting thing that this delimiter is an optional so you can pass it or not but if you don't pass it then it will use you know space as a delimiter by default so like that's what i am doing in this section and other part are actually similar like record dot field row and then second column and then appending it and then i am making this into table using table dot from records so let me just show you this part into an action so let me just duplicate this get rid of this one and i can say okay march and transform column so this is doing one at a time so this one so the first column is custom the second column is fault message and i want to replace on fault message and this is going to be the delimiter so let me don't pass the delimiter so it will use a space in this section if i pass the delimiter let's say hyphen in that case it will use that one as delimiter okay so that's it uh, let me invoke one more time this one
this one so custom one will be instead of source one and then final message and that is final message change this to underscore and we're good to go so thanks for watching have a good day if you need excel automation feel free to contact with me all the contact details are in the description of this video thank you